and welcome to KDCN, your Diversity Council News. I'm your distinguished and intrepid reporter, Scoop Haynes, ready to inspire you to be open and inclusive. Today our special report is focused on Providence Regional Medical Center Everett. We've heard that all of the doors and hearts are open for the people who work and seek care at Providence Everett, no matter their gender, age, religion, ethnicity, or socioeconomic background. At Providence Regional Medical Center Everett, caregivers use the tools of the core values. Respect, justice, compassion, stewardship, and excellence to practice the care and healing of all those in the community who seek it. So we went on location to see for ourselves how diversity is part of everyday life in the halls of Providence Everett. Watch and be amazed. At Providence Regional Medical Center Everett with KDCN, this is Paula. I'd like to welcome Preston Simmons, our wizard of Providence. Hi, Paula. How are you doing today? Thanks for being here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay, I have a question for you about diversity. Sure. If you were a box of cereal, what would you be? That's an easy one, Paula. It would be Lucky Charms. Terrific. Um, they're magically delicious, and I love the variety. Just like the magic of Lucky Charms, there's magic in having diversity at Providence Regional Medical Center in Everett and the Northwest region. Um, by Everyone working together with our community, those we serve, and having diversity on our workforce, we are a much better organization that represents our community and is able to achieve absolutely excellent results, just like we do every day here. And it's part of a nutritious breakfast. And it is part of a nutritious breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Diversity, my first question for you would be... Uh... Have you ever made an assumption on people based on accents? Great question. Thank you for asking. Absolutely, I have made assumptions based on accents. I do a lot of recruiting for new staff, and I, I meet a lot of people who come from all walks of life all around the world. So I do encounter a lot of accents. The assumptions I make are that of the struggles they go through with learning a new language and uh, being inclusive with social normativity and overcoming communication barriers. Oh, thank you. I have another question. Uh, do you think anybody has made any assumptions about you regarding your accent? You know, that's a good question, too. I have never encountered a situation where anybody's made an assumption to me based on how I speak, um, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It would be interesting to learn. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to cut this short. I do have an operation to get to. I have an exclusion extraction. But thank you for having me today. Oh, thank you for being here. I appreciate very much your input. Thank you. Hey, I'm Scoop Haynes from KDCN News. Who are you? I'm Trisha from the Block. Oh, hi, Trisha from the Block. What do you do here at Providence Regional Medical Center Everett? I answer telephone calls from doctors and patient families looking to see how their family members are doing. Wow, that sounds terrific. Have you ever discriminated against anyone on a call? Absolutely not. In our department, we work with many people of different gender, uh, race, and religion. And the core value of respect is our number one tool in our box. Fascinating. One more question, Tricia, from the block. If you were a box of cereal, what would you be? A uh, box of honey bunches of oats. Why? Because I'm busy like the bee. Aww. Thank you, Trisha. Hi, I'm Scoop Haynes from KDCN News. How are you guys today? We're fine. Just fine. Yeah. Yep. What do you do here? Well, I'm the Magic Mark, the diversity champion for the SOC. How lucky I ran into you. I've been looking yeah. for people who can tell me how diversity works every day here at Providence Regional Medical Center, Everett. And who are you? I'm the nursing supervisor. Super Susan. Super Susan is Susan is super supervisor. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, my main question for most people today has been, if you were a box of cereal, 
What would you be and why? You first, Magic Mark. Oh, Magic Mark loves Tony the Tiger because Tony the Tiger is a champion. It makes me a champion. Mm, sounds good. How about you, Super Susan? I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it's so sweet. Oh, good answer. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And I'm gonna off to interview some more Providence Regional Medical Center diversity champions. See you later. Bye. Bye. I'm still here at Providence, and look, here's George, part of the Miracle Maintenance crew. George, where are you rushing off to? We have a leak in the diversity pipe. Oh dear, that sounds serious. So how do you optimize the flow of culture? Well, we have a diverse group of people who come together every day to make this magic happen at Providence. Terrific, so you must have some pretty powerful tools to do that. Well, our people of Providence come together to use the core values of respect, justice, compassion, excellence, and stewardship. That's terrific. Well, I don't want to keep you. we got to conserve that culture any way we can. Let's go. Chef Mercy, yes. if you were a box of cereal, what would you be? Box of cereal? I have to say Wheaties, because it's the breakfast of champions, and we're all champions at Providence. Inclusion doesn't mean throwing out your culture. It means inviting others to share in it. What, what, what kinds of culture are you including in our lunch today, Chef Mercy? Oh, well, we have all kinds of variety on our menus to serve lots of different populations and lots of different diets. You know, I have to say personally, though, I had to get through my own biases to learn about other cultures and really be open and collaborate and include and build relationships and build trust to be all inclusive. Welcome back to the studio. And we have a very special guest today. This is our inclusion therapist from Providence Regional Medical Center, Everett, Loretta. Hi, Loretta, and thanks for being here. Hi, Paula, it's great to be here. Thank you. You're welcome. And I have a question for you. If you were a box of cereal, what would you be? That's easy, Paula. I'd be a box of Cocoa Krispies. Mm. Actually, I wouldn't be in a box at all. I've been in a box all my life. I'm multiracial and I don't like choosing one box or another. All right. I want out of the box, Paula. Out of the box. Well, then we'll be out of the box. And that's a great thing to do at Providence Regional because we're all about diversity and inclusion at Providence. Yes, we are. Okay. So, before I leave you, I'd like to give you this one message. Alone, we can do so little, but together, we can do so much. Thanks for joining us. Wow. <laughs> that was a true inside story. What a gem in our community. I'm told employee representatives from every department are encouraged to participate in the exploration of diversity and inclusion. And with the expansion of the Diversity Council here at Providence Regional Medical Center, Everett. Check with your supervisor today. You could be rocking diversity with this elite group of inclusionists once a quarter. Call Ann Gibson with Mission Integration at 84550 for more details. One last thing before I let you go. If I were a box of cereal, I would be granola because it's sweet, fruity, nutty, and flaky. Thanks for joining me. This is Scoop Haynes at KDCN News. Back to you. To diversity! and beyond.